Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. I'm Sean and today we're going to look at a new feature that is uh, content scrolling. Uh, you can uh, see an example here going on the screen. Those are uh, <coughs> That's a header from uh, a new website design that I'm making. Those are some of the gallery uh, images from uh, my website and uh, I'm going to show you how you can make that without writing any code whatsoever it's not flash it's just uh, you just draw it in Photoshop name your layers correctly and convert it to PS with PSD to CSS online and uh, and you get the dynamic scrolling uh, content like that those will be clickable uh, images by the way you can put anything you want that scrolls you can make a text that scrolls or pictures or <coughs> you can make a, 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 the things in the background scroll and uh, have things in the front that don't. Uh, so let's see how to do that. Okay, so here is our Photoshop file and <coughs> you can see it looks a lot like what we were just looking at. Uh, the differences are of course this gray area right here that is our um, it's the it's where the scrolling is going to happen within and uh, we call that our uh, scroll frame and of, and that's the way you name that uh, layer with the PSD the CSS online uh, layer naming conventions uh, you name it some anything you want underscore scroll frame and that'll be the section that uh, the scrolling will occur in then the this on the bottom this longer much wider area here with uh, the images already in it <coughs> the link image is already in it that will be called uh, the same thing uh, underscore uh, scroll content in this case I'm going to call these both uh, just B um, so it's B underscore scroll content and B underscore scroll frame um, you can see that the uh, the content is much bigger than the frame is and that's fine um, PSD to CSS online will uh, generate code that will duplicate this uh, this bottom section it'll make two of them so that uh, so that they can just kind of take turns scrolling by here and uh, and it looks like it just scrolls by forever so uh, let's zoom in over here on uh, on the layer names and show you the trick to this uh, let's see so uh, here's here's one of the important ones b underscore empty scroll content uh, in this case I have the empt empty keyword in there too and uh, that's just because uh, the content which is this area over here I don't want to see that gray behind the pictures. I just want the pictures themselves to go, but the the box that is the content that holds them all is uh, is gray. So I put empty, <coughs> excuse me, over here. Put empty over here, and uh, that'll make the gray part disappear. But of course, the uh, the links, all these li all these gallery links here, they will show up. That's all of my links inside there. The other uh, real important part uh, about this trick is is the b underscore scroll frame. This is uh, this is the gray part up up, up over here. Um, let's see here. Screw it back out of there. So you can see that when I toggle that, that's that's the gray part, the content. I'm sorry, the frame, the scroll frame. And of course, this down here is the is the whole background for the uh, for the uh, scroll content. So uh, <coughs> one other thing that might be a little misleading that I put in here is is uh, these two layers here. I guess I haven't named them anything special. Background copy three and two. Um, they're just a just a little chunk of uh, graphic that uh, have some alpha in it, so that as things scroll, they don't just disappear on a hard edge. There, they look like they kind of fade away. That's all that is. Um, but uh, but other than that, that's all there is to it. it. It's just a drawing in Photoshop with uh, with these layers named correctly. So uh, when you save it, and here, let's make this a little bigger. Go back to the main site. So uh, when you uh, go ahead and save that Photoshop file and then come to uh, PSD to CSS Online, you just upload that file and it will start turning away on it. Um, <coughs> it's not a very big Photoshop file so it won't take too long. Um, it's converting it to the uh, HTML and CSS right now and should be done very soon. There we go. And so, uh, as usual, when you convert something with PSD to CSS Online, you get a link to a page that uh, we host for you. Um, we host it for 24 hours. That's new. It used to be only five minutes. Now it's for 24 hours. But you can see, sure enough, that's the page that was generated, and there it is moving. I didn't write a line of code, as you know. Um, I'll go 
back to it though. Uh, well, here, the thing about this is those these are just pictures right now. They they were named underscore link, but of course there's nothing in the href tag that gets generated. So uh, the only coding I guess that I'll have to do is go and fill in some URLs to the uh, href tags. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. So the uh, we can either look at it with the link like that, or you can download all of the art and the HTML file in a zip file. And it's right there. We'll open that up. So there it all is. I'll grab it all out of the zip file and set it into my slide folder. Let's close all this stuff. So we'll uh, we'll look at it. So here's here's what we downloaded. <coughs> Excuse me. We can even take a look at it here again. See, sure enough. Yep, runs runs from my local drive as well. Um, but here we're going to edit it and put those links in. Uh, we will edit with my favorite editor. Uh, let's see. Oop, move that over a little bit. We'll start from the top here. I know that my links are, are named underscore link, so I'm going to search for underscore link. There's one of them. That's the CSS definition for it, though. There's the next one and the next one. This is just the CSX CSS area. Here we are in the HTML. Gallery 6 j underscore JPEG underscore link is exactly what I named one of my links. And uh, sure enough, right here is uh, my href tag that I need to fill in. Oops, that's not a good thing. But I'll, I have the I happen to have the uh, the links in another file here. Uh, what was it called? Link info text. That's right. So I can just take those and uh, paste them in. There we go. There's one of them. Here's our next uh, href. href equals. Right there is where the next one will go. I'll come over and grab a copy here. Go ahead and paste that in. And uh, if you bear with me while I do a couple of them here. I'll grab that one too. I'll just do the three. We got the idea. So some of those links will be live. Some of them, won't, three of them, will be live. So we'll go ahead and reload this page, and uh, and I don't remember which ones I made live. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. There, that was one of them. And it takes me to the uh, the PSD to CSS Online users page that uh, this gentleman put into the gallery. Um, we can go back and do it again. What are the other live ones? I thought this one was live. Maybe not. But uh, as I scroll by, there are links, and uh, three of them point to something meaningful. There, that one does too. And uh, so that was all it was to it. I mean, uh, I guess you could call it coding, but uh, basically I drew it in Photoshop, na named the layers correctly, uh, saved it out, and pumped it through PSD to CSS Online, and it made all the code that makes everything happen. All I had to do was fill in the links. So... Uh, so there, have fun with that, and uh, and uh, please feel free when you're done with any making any web pages to uh, submit it to the gallery because uh, we want to, I want to show everybody's work off. So thanks.